Uh, hi, I'm John Perna. I just want to say, Dwayne had all of this fervor about taking away our gun rights ushered in by an alleged mass killing. I want you all, when you get home, to look at the Guinness Book of World Records under mass killings and see what the biggest mass killings in the history of mankind were. Most of you are familiar with Adolf Hitler. He's in sixth place with six million people. Joseph Stalin is in fourth place with 20 million people. First place, second place, and third place are all held by Mao Zedong with a total of 66 million people. Guess what all those millions of people had in common? They were on our. Guess what the people in Newtown, Connecticut had in common with those millions of people? They were on our. They want to ban guns, but they already ban guns in schools. That's why the shootings happen in schools, because criminals prefer unarmed victims. A school is now a helpless victim zone. And they want to make the whole United States into a helpless victim zone by taking all of your guns away. But what part of shall not be infringed do they not understand? What, where do you see anything about hunting? What part of being necessary to the security of a free state do they not understand? Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, I'm Jerry, and I'm nobody as well. Can you hear you? Can you hear me now? My name is Jerry, and I'm a nobody as, as well. But I am a patriot, and I believe in what this land stands for. And I don't like what's going on today. And I can tell you right now, the news media will take this right here, and they'll try to make us all look like a bunch of rednecks. Yes. We're not. We're patriots. Amen. Yes. Yes. Stand up and show them that we are here for our freedom. Freedom of the Second Amendment, yes. freedom of the Tenth Amendment, and all what it stands for to be an American. Yes, and I can tell you right now, we need to put God back in things as well. Yeah. Yeah. That is our biggest problem. That is our biggest problem. Yeah. I'm proud of the decision. And I can tell you in the 60s, it all started going downhill. Yes. But we love this country, and we're going to take it back. And we're going to stand for our rights, and we're not going to put up with what's going on in Washington. That's right. But we're going to start here in South Carolina. Let me tell you something. Be a patriot. You know, look what the patriots did. How many out here are patriots now? Yeah. Look what the patriots and our, our forefathers have done. You know, look at George Washington. You know, he crossed the, the, the river of ice to, you know, to surprise the enemy, the British. Look at Francis Scott, Scott Key that wrote the uh, Star Spangled Banner. And it wasn't a patriot that said, give me liberty or give me death. It wasn't yeah. a patriot that said that. So, you know, when we, get to, when we go back to the voting booths and we vote for somebody, let's stand up and let's tell everybody about it, what we need and what we stand for. Let's, let's quit going to sleep at the poll and say, well, all right, well, I don't like who's going to vote This is, that's on this side or on that side. I'm not going to vote this time. People have died for the vote. Amen. Amen. Let's stand up for the people who have Amen. died for our vote. Yes. Amen. Our military, the greatest one on earth. We are the best on earth. This country is... is with all the distractions that's going on, who cares about Lance Armstrong and Who cares about it? We want our Second Amendment left alone. Yeah. Stand up for it. Let's take it back. And I appreciate y'all listening to me. Thank you.